Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and like I did with Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, I asked you all to list the teams you plan to use for Pokemon Legends Arceus so I can rate them in a video. Now, obviously, we don't know all of the Pokemon that will be available yet, but we know a lot of them, so these will probably end up being mostly accurate. We'll see. Toon Stuff says, I haven't really decided yet, but I'm thinking about going with Samurant, favorite starters, Tangrowth, just like him for some reason. I mean, how could you not? He's so rotund. Arcanine, Hisuian Growlithe's really cool. That actually raises a good point. While we don't know what Hisuian Arcanine looks like, I had a video with a theory about it earlier this year, but we don't know yet. It's probably gonna be Fire Rock type. It'd be weird if it wasn't. Heracross, never used one, always liked it. I like Heracross as well. Glaceon or Glalie. Never used Glaceon. Glalie's an old favorite. And Drapion. So immediately this team brings up something that I should discuss, and that is the starters. I discussed it in a video before where I thought it was quite likely that the starters were going to get Hisuian forms. The final evolutions of the starters. Or they were just going to be completely alternate evolutions. Like instead of evolving into Decidueye, Dartrix evolved into just like a completely different Pokemon. Obviously this has not been officially confirmed, but the fact that we're less than a month away from release and we still have not seen Decidueye, Typhlosion, or Samurott in their regular forms in footage from the games at all leads me to believe that like it just gets more and more likely every day that there's alternate forms because it seems like they're hiding the final evolved forms on purpose. So most of the teams are going to include Samurott, Decidueye, and Typhlosion, but we should probably go ahead and assume that it's going to be their Hisuian forms, maybe with some secondary typing that we don't yet no. And so that might throw people's teams out of whack, but I'm just gonna go ahead and assume it's a Suian Samurott, maybe with a secondary typing of fighting or something. I mean, that would overlap with Heracross. This is gonna be a lot harder to do than the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl version of this. So here we are on Maryland's Team Builder, which I'm gonna be using for most of this video to help me figure out how a team matches up against certain types without having to do the math in my head. You'll notice I put Macargo instead of Arcanine. That's because it's gonna be Hisuian Arcanine, which is almost certainly Fire Rock type, since that's what type Hisuian Growlithe is. And overall, this team is actually pretty well balanced. There is one type that half of them are weak to, that being Fire. However, you do have Macargo or so we can Arcanine, who four times resists it, and Samurott, who half resists it. Unless it ends up being water steel, but we can't, no. I'll give it a seven out of 10. I think it could be improved by replacing Glaceon. I like Glaceon just as much as the next person, but ice types are sadly not the best unless they're bolstered by another type, like Mamoswine. I think if you swapped out Glaceon for Mamoswine, it'd be quite a bit better. Also, I'm not going to be double checking whether the Pokemon you guys listed are in the game or not. I provided the list, so I trusted you. So if anybody puts any Pokemon that have not been confirmed to be in the game, that's on them. Slammer Bro says, I'm pretty sure my playthrough team would be as follows. Decidueye, Electrode, assuming it's keeping a Hisuian for its Evo, Zoroark, Infernape, Mamoswine, Tentacruel. I already quite like this team. Oh, you've also got a Team Sky team picked out in case I want to decide to fulfill my sworn duties. Yes, go Team Sky! Okay, so for this team, we're gonna have to get a little creative. Hisuian Electrode is almost certainly Grass Electric. There's no reason for Hisuian Voltorb to become a completely different type once it evolves into Hisuian Electrode. If Hisuian Electrode is not Grass Electric, I'll be stunned. However, this team builder can only implement existing Pokemon. And since Hisuian Zoroark is the first ghost normal Pokemon, I can't put anything there. However, conveniently enough, ghost normal's only weakness is dark, which means we just increase the dark column to two, and then we add some extra immunities to normal, fighting, and ghost, which are not types that the rest of the team really seems to struggle with, so it doesn't impact a whole lot. Once again, though, Decidueye probably getting a Hisuian form that is not ghost type. My theory was dark, but We'll see. I like the roster of this. I think it's cool to use uh, two starters, the Legends Arceus starter and one of the Wild Sinnoh starters. I uh, love Mamoswine, always great to see. I will say the team is, uh, once again, like the last one, half of them weak to fire, which isn't great. You do have a water type though, which helps with that a lot. 
and Infernape does resist it. I think I'm gonna give this team a six out of 10. Sui and Zoroark is such a mixed bag because Ghost Normal is really good defensive typing. I mean, it's also good offensively because very few things resist both, if anything, aside from other. Is Sui and Zoroark. It's just not much super effective coverage. You know, I think I'm gonna give this team a seven out of 10 too. I was gonna give it a six, but then I'm realizing Sui and Zoroark probably can help with fire types. I mean, it's neutral. It's so frail though. Assuming Zoroark keeps the same base stats as its regular form, which it may not, but it is a frail Pokemon. Base 60 across the board in all of the defense related stats. So I think I'm gonna give this team a six. Mamoswine, Infernape, and Decidueye are gonna be quite strong. Tentacruel, pretty solid Pokemon. A bit too weak to fire though. And Hisui and Zoroark, I'm not convinced yet. Ghost Normal is great typing, but I'm just worried Hisui and Zoroark is too frail to make proper use of it. Ha ha, it is I, Grunty Boy. What is it today? I am here to ask for and steal, if necessary, quite a bit of money. We've discussed this before, Grunty Boy. I'm not giving you money. Please, I lost all of mine recently. The mattress that I was keeping it all in was accidentally donated to Goodwill, which now that I think about it was a very off-brand thing for Team Rocket to do, which means I might have been duped. Why were you keeping your money in a mattress? Finances are just so confusing and overcomplicated, but keeping it in a mattress is simple. How about instead of that wildly irresponsible method of managing your money, you try out Current, the sponsor of today's video. It's a mobile app and debit card that lets you spend and save better. It keeps things simple and secure and you can manage everything easily from the mobile app. Simple and secure? Oh, that sounds great. The mattress was simple, but as we're seeing, was not secure. But how do I spend the money that I put in there? You can use the current debit card, just like mine. You can use it anywhere that accepts Visa cards, which is most places, including online purchases. I used my current card to purchase myself a Lego set since I'm a big Lego fan. Lego? Well, I thought you'd buy yourself some Pokemon plushies. More Pokemon plushies are the last thing I need. That makes sense. All right, how do I get current? Just head to the link in the description below to sign up for current today. Sounds great. I'm off to go do that. And then afterwards, hopefully track down my mattress. Ta-ta! Lone God, the team I'm thinking about is Floatzel, good coverage and speedy. Zoroark, great type combo. Cleavor, hope he won't disappoint me because Scizor didn't. I got bad news. Weird here, normal psychic is a great type combo. Is it? Infernape, Infernape is always great. And last but not least, Decidueye. I know they're another ghost type, but I really like him. I don't think it's gonna be a ghost. All right, I've got the team inputted here. Uh, Decidueye, Infernape, Crustal instead of Cleavor, Girafferig instead of Weird Ear, and an empty column for Zoroark. One thing I will say up front is that I think Cleavor looks cool, but Bug Rock is like objectively inferior to Bug Steel. Bug Steel does have the four times weakness of fire, but that's its only weakness. Whereas you can see Bug Rock has three weaknesses and only two resistances. Normal Psychic is also not my favorite typing. It also only has one resistance just to other psychic types. It does have an immunity, which is nice, but two weaknesses, a resistance and an immunity. Like if you look at Infernape, for example, five resistances, no, six. Six resistances, one of them four times, and then yeah, four weaknesses, but that's a lot more resistances. If we add on the Zoroark column, Dark actually moves up to three. Three Pokemon weak to Dark, however, I still believe Decidueye won't be a ghost type, so I'm not gonna really think about half the team being weak to dark. It is overall better defensively than I thought. It's kind of low on resistances though. Nothing resists flying, nothing resists rock, nothing resists dragon. Kind of low on weaknesses, but still. So I'm gonna give this team a five. I think Infernape is the high point. Decidueye will be quite good, Floatzel as well, but I don't think Cleavor and Weird here, despite how cool they are, I don't think they're gonna be stellar. Dogman the hero, definitely starting with Rowlet. We'll see what the Decidueye is. Basque Legion, probably butchered that spelling. You missed one letter, I wouldn't call that butchering. Seems like it'll be fun. Cleavor looks really cool. It does. Hisuian Zoroark is so badass. 
it is. Other than that, I'm not sure I'll probably build the rest as I play. His swinging growth can make for a good fire type, but the rock overlaps. The rock does overlap, and rocks have a lot of weaknesses, so I don't think you should overlap them. Oh, it just occurred to me that this is not a full team of six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I can't properly rate this. I mean, I agree with your opinions on the Pokemon's designs. Not sure about the typing. I mean, okay, Hisui and Zoroark's typing is amazing, but I'm not sure its stats will help it enough. Cleavor will probably have pretty good stats. I'd assume 500 base stat total, just like Scizor and Scyther, but the typing isn't great. Basque Legion though, Basque Legion is probably gonna be the best of the forms we've seen so far. Obviously that's just a theory, but I think Basque Legion is gonna be dope. I wanna use it. Lycan 4, ooh, you've written quite a bit. Typhlosion, first one here. Honestly, if the final evolved forms don't get alternate forms, then I feel like Cyndaquil is gonna be my personal starter choice because then I can have the fire type Typhlosion and then I can use Basque Legion that overlaps with both Decidueye and Samurott. Now, if there are Hisuian starters, all that goes out the window, but that's kind of what I'm personally leaning for. Hisui and Zoro work, fell in love with immediately. I don't care how long it takes. I will give that Fox Ghost all my love. Aw. I understand why people want to use the Zoro work. It's very cool. Maybe I'll give it a shot. I know I have my hesitations, but maybe I'll give it a shot. Hisui and Voltorb Electrode, love the new design. Its happy disposition is so cute. I, I have to agree. If it wasn't so prone to exploding, I'd give it a big hug. Aw. Uh -huh. Garchomp, I had a Garchomp named Steak. I was hungry at the time. <laughs> in my Platinum Nuzlocke, and she was one of the three reasons I survived it. No way I can keep this powerhouse off my team. That's fair. Garchomp, very good. Lucario, Lucario, always good. Yeah, and Mega. I've always thought it was really cool, but I've never been able to use one. Taking my chance now, while it doesn't give me any new coverage, it does make it to where I don't have to rely on just one Pokemon to deal with specific types. That is always a good thing. All right, I have this implemented once again. Mo Rotom replacing Hisui and Electrode. Empty column for Hisui and Zoroark. And there is an immediate problem that I didn't realize initially, but half your team is weak to fire and half is weak to ice. Now, to your credit, both of those types that half your team is weak to have two other Pokemon that directly handle that type. Lucario destroys ice types. It has two different stabs to handle them. And Typhlosion handles ice as well. Typhlosion resists fire, but can't really hit back. And then you have Garchomp. I understand wanting to use Hisui and Zoroark, but I feel like a water type would really help you here. It helps give you another answer to fire besides Garchomp, because Typhlosion deals with fire defensively, but not offensively. Garchomp deals with it both. Water deals with it both ways. Additionally, it resists ice. It doesn't deal with it offensively, but you've got a lot of ways to handle ice offensively with both Lucario and Typhlosion. Although that would be replacing Hisui and Zoroark to do that, but you could also replace Yan Mega. I'm trying to see what removing Yan Mega, how that impacts you. You'd have less ways of handling fighting types. Well, it also depends a lot on the secondary typing of the water type if you toss it in there. If it's a water psychic type, that helps with fighting. If it's water fairy, that helps with fighting. If it's water flying, that helps with fighting. Yeah, I'm gonna vote replacing Yan Mega with some kind of water type. Water types are just so good. But in its current state, I'm thinking four out of 10. It, I, it's weird doing that when there's a Garchomp and a Lucario on the team. But like, well, no, I mean, you've got the other ones to handle it. Now, I'll give it a six. I'll give it a six. Ultra Rowlet 79 wants to use Decidueye. What? No way. Cleavor, Hisuian Zoroark, Gliscor. There we go. Wanted to use it on my main BDSP team, but couldn't. Yeah, that's because the developers of uh, BDSP are dumb. Okay, that's probably a bit aggressive. That decision was very dumb, and I'll be annoyed with BDSP forever for it. Gallade, this could be subbed out for Gardevoir depending on the situation, and Magnezone. Need to never use one on playthrough team. If I need to make a change, I'll be the first to go. All right, let's check this out. Okay, so immediately I'm really liking this team. There's not a single type that has super effective damage for three of the members. Even if you add in the weakness to Dark from Hisui and Zoroark, that takes Dark to only two. I'm pretty impressed by this. I mean, obviously we don't know what Decidueye's secondary typing is gonna be, but like this team is not one that is easily dealt with. So I'm gonna give this team like, I'm gonna give it an eight. No, scratch that. There's no reason to, dock. I'm gonna give it a nine. I mean, I, I like it a lot. Like the, defensively, it seems really good. I've been trying to go through it offensively and there's not been a type so far that stood out as something you like don't really have anything for. There is no stab super effective damage for dragon, I am realizing. So I think that's what's keeping it from being 10. But overall, I think this is a great team. I always like going for the new native Pokemon in each game. So I'll probably end up with something like this from what we know so far. Decidueye, Hisui, and Braviary. Hey, first one of those mentioned. Cleavor, Basket Legion, Hisui, and Zoroark, and Hisui, and Growlithe, or whatever it evolves into. Almost certainly Hisui and Arcanine. Not really looking 
looking for tight balance, rather just something new. Heck, maybe I'll even run a Team Sky on a separate account or something. I'm wondering how many people want to do their own Team Sky runs of the game. Feel free. Like, I probably won't do a Team Sky run of Legends Arceus for quite some time. Since this person intentionally targeted Pokemon that are new forms, um, I've got Swoobat for Hisuian Braviary, Crustle for Cleavor, Jellicent for Basque Legion, and Macargo for Hisuian Arcanine. And then, once again, an empty column for Hisuian Zoroark. You guys really like that Pokemon, which is fair. It's dope. It's just making my job harder. And, oh my god, there are three types super effective against half the team. This team is destroyed by rock. Nothing resists it. Ghost, debatably, because if Decidueye is not a ghost type, then it's not weak to ghost. Dark, while Decidueye, if it's not a ghost type, then it wouldn't be weak to dark, unless it's grass psychic. Hisuian Zoroark is weak to dark. When you said you weren't going for type balance, you were not kidding. <laughs> I think it's gonna be really cool to use new forms. I mean, I definitely intend to use multiple of them, but I cannot give this team a great score due to those bright red spots. Oof. Uh, so I'm gonna give this team a three. Please forgive. Isaac Newby, I've never played out a team ever. Ooh. I usually just find out members as I go. That's what I did for BDSP and it was fun. Uh, it's probably what I'll do as well. Decidueye, never used it before. Think grass ghost would be a good type. Better than pure fire, pure water. But they could get Hisuian forms. Cleavor, love its design. Looks pretty strong. I do love its design. Golduck, got in my favorite water type. Ooh, what a unique favorite. Skunk Tank, never used it before since I'm a pearl person. <laughs> Magmortar, arm cannons. <laughs> <laughs> I love that that's the only explanation. Gallade seems pretty powerful, never used one before. Gallade's pretty fun to use. Okay, I finally have someone who didn't want to use the Suian Zoroark so I could fill out all the columns. Still got to use Crustle, but whatever. And this team, I'm impressed. Assuming Decidueye doesn't get another form, no type does super effective damage to half the team or more. How's it on the offensive side of things? There's no ground type, so it'll be a little tough dealing with electric types, especially since only Decidueye is the, it's the only one to resist it. Okay, so I'm gonna give this team an eight out of 10. Overall, pretty good defensively, but there are some offensive concerns that I have. No ground type, so nothing to deal with electric types. The only super effective stab you have for flying is on a Pokemon that does not resist flying. And flying's a pretty common type, so I'm a little worried about that. Additionally, no way to resist dragon. I mean, to be fair to you, steel's the only type that resists dragon, and fairy's the only one that's immune to it. But no way to deal super effective damage against dragons as well, unless it's a coverage move. Which, to be fair, Golduck can learn Ice Beam, so you'll have some non-stab coverage. So I think overall, it's a pretty good team. There are some areas where it's a bit lacking. Like I said, my main concern is dealing with flying types, uh, but who knows, maybe Decidueye will be a Grass, ice, no, it's not gonna be that. Chabane Giannis has proposed a Team Sky back in time team. Hisuian Braviary, obviously can literally fly you around. Crobat, Yen Mega, Mantine, Driftblim, Honchkrow probably better, but I like that there's almost no birds, and Gliscor. Yeah, I probably shouldn't use Crobat too many times, but it's Team Sky, so 10 out of 10. Well, this comment got 57 upvotes, impressive. It's by Slowpoke. My team and the reasons I chose them, Decidueye, have used all the other starters. Basque Legion, an awesome buff for a Pokemon I feel deserved more. Infernape, I use Torterra in BDSP, don't like Empoleon. I get you. Honchkrow, really wanted to use it in BDSP, but went for Staraptor. Luxray in the enemy, it's pretty big, so maybe I'll be able to ride it. Don't get your hopes up. And Weird Ear, I love Stantler. That is not a phrase I think I've ever seen anyone say before. It's not like Stantler is like a widely disliked Pokemon. It's just a Pokemon I feel like no one ever discusses and forgets exist prior to Weird Ear being announced because it was just like bland and weak. All right, so I've got the team inputted here. Immediately, I notice half the team is weak to dark. However, pretty sure Decidueye is going to get a Hisuian form where it will not be ghost type anymore. So I don't think that's that bad. No team members resist dragon. Like I said, it's hard to resist dragon. No team members resist fairy, but only one of them is weak to it. Ooh, but no Pokemon that are super effective against it. Ooh, fairies might give you some problems. Unless Decidueye is like grass poison or grass steel, but I don't foresee that. They like grass dark. I feel like that's what it's gonna be. I think overall, I'm gonna give this team, um, we'll see. Pretty good defensively overall. Dark issue, I think is gonna end up not being an issue. Uh, offensive it's missing in a few spots like dragon and fairy, uh, but overall pretty good. And also I just respect that you love Stantler. Siri freak, so I'm crazy and I've planned four teams, one per starter and one without a starter. Wow, every team has a grass, fire, water, fairy core. Ooh, 
Very impressive. I'm not going to analyze all of these, but I'm gonna give you 10 out of 10 points just for the effort. I guess to cap things off, I'll talk about Pokemon that I wanna use. Um, Like I said earlier, I probably am gonna pick Cyndaquil if the uh, final evolutions don't have new forms. If I'm able to see what the new forms are before the game comes out, then I'll make my decision then. However, I feel like I'm more likely to pick Rowlet or Cyndaquil because I would quite like to use Basculegion. I might try out Zoroark. I know I had some doubts, but I might try it out. I'm also like pretty heavily considering using Mamoswine. I've always quite liked Mamoswine, but I haven't really used it in a playthrough team myself. So I think that's something I might use. And aside from that, I don't really have a whole lot planned. It's kind of hard to plan, but also I kind of don't want to. Thank you so much for watching with an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon who are helping support my channel independent of fluctuating YouTube ad rates, which they're not great in January. If you want to help support me in the same way, the link is in the description below. And if you want to check out some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend these videos here. All right, that's all I have for now. So until next time, big fans, gotta catch them all.